Hey everyone, Miss Go Electric here and I'm at the Battery Show and the Electric and Hybrid Vehicle Technology Expo. This here is in Novi, Michigan and essentially what this is all about is automakers come to this expo in order to figure out what kind of suppliers they want to work with and what products they offer. So let's head inside and see all these goodies. This charge magazine is awesome. All right, well, this is my first time at the battery show, and to be honest, I'm very impressed because there is a wide variety of suppliers here, and not only people who make batteries, but the whole supply chain is represented here. Batteries, charging infrastructure, the machines that even just make the electric motors and things of that nature. It's a wide variety that we're seeing here, and I'm really just overwhelmed with how much is going on. <laughs> Well, this is really exciting. We have the CEO of Our Next Energy and Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist here, who is the Lieutenant Governor of the state of Michigan. And he's checking out all the new technology that they have put out today, the anode-free cells, and what's going on with Our Next Energy. But what's cool is I actually met with Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist at the Charge Across America rally when we drove all the way from uh, Brooklyn, New York to LA and we stopped in Michigan. So we got to chat with him at one of our events and I'm gonna try to catch up with him once again. I love that. Yeah. See you again. Good. I won. Your team won? I did, I, we won. <laughs> yeah, it was great oh, talking to you. Was good to see you. Talk back. Was, it, was it fun? It was a blast, and especially it was a blast because then okay. there was a $10,000 check well, at the end. <laughs> I mean, no doubt. That, that helps. That helps. Yeah. I'm glad you had a good experience with it, though. It was. It was a great time. And where was your partner from? Uh, Ryan was from San Francisco, okay. but I'm from here, so yeah, okay. well, represent. Cool. <laughs> they wanted to charge across America ways. Yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to give you a Go Electric right. pin and For hope sure. to catch up with you guys again soon. Enjoy Thanks the show. I've been reading about One Next Energy for a really long time, and we actually met with you guys at CES for a brief moment. We have an invitation to come out to their headquarters and their facilities to do a tour. We just haven't gotten to it yet, but we're really excited because you guys are doing some really big things. And today I have Dr. Stephen Kay with me here. He is the CTO of the company. We're gonna get a little bit more information out of him. For those of the, my audience members that don't know what One Next Energy is, can you just give us a little bit of a briefing of what you guys do and the impact on the industry you're making? Yeah, so um, uh, Our Next Energy, or One, is a battery pack man manufacturer for electric vehicles. Um, and our big mission is to try and radically increase the range of EVs, both commercial and passenger, uh, to try and take it from you know, the exciting technology is today to something that really everyone can can use and afford and, and really uh, displace combustion vehicles. And so how are you doing that? Because it's kind of unique compared to a lot of other people. You have different chemistries that you're utilizing in a whole new way, am I right? Yeah, so um, I guess that, you know, going to our, our big announcement from today uh, is we are, uh, our big, one of our big focuses is uh, the development of the Gemini uh, hybrid pack technology. And so uh, the basic idea here is instead of using a single type of battery uh, to, um, to power the vehicle the way you know, pretty much all commercial products do today, uh, we actually uh, take two different cell chemistries, one that handles the everyday power and range requirements, so your, your normal everyday trips, 
and a second ultra high energy chemistry that handles those occasional long duration trips for like vacations or you know a long weekend with your kids where you may not be able to go back somewhere you can charge or if you've got a tow things like that um, and by uh, you know basically having these two different chemistries each that specializes in different needs of the EV the overall performance of the vehicle is, is can be vastly greater so the over um, you know, the, the Gemini pack, uh, we're uh, able to get to energies on the order of like 400, 450 watt hours per liter um, overall, much higher than you can get to with any single chemistry alone. And so, for example, you guys had at CES when I saw you last, a uh, Model S that could go like 600 some odd miles, is that right? Yeah. Um, so that was, uh, so that Model S was with the first incarnation of the, the Gemini technology. That was a very early version of it. Um, and so what we have now, and what we're going to be demonstrating in a BMW iX at the end of this year, um, is uh, the first proof of concept with our new DC-DC converter technology and the 1,000 watt hour per liter anode-free cell that we developed. Um, and that's going to enable an iX to go 600 miles on a single charge, uh, almost double what you can get with the pack that's in there today. Wow. So, okay, BMW is actually an investor, BMW Ventures, in our next energy, correct? Yeah, that's right. um, you are going to be putting your products in the iX. Are there other manufacturers that you're working with right now that you have announced that you can talk about? Um, so, for the Gemini technology, BMW is the only one that's public. Uh, for our Ares technology, for commercial vehicles, we have uh, also announced a collaboration with Motive. Um, and uh, we have, again, they're the one that allows us to, uh, uh, to basically say that we're working with them publicly, though we do have others that we're working with as well. Very secretive, but exciting at the same time. Can you talk a little bit about the manufacturing? Because uh, if you're getting something like this, you're getting your product into an IX so quickly, what, how is that enabling you guys to do that? And I understand it's a smaller volume at this point, but also then talk about the future trajectory of what you guys want to do. Oh, no, that, that's actually a really good question. And um, so there's a lot of high energy technologies out there. We're not the first ones to hit 1,000 watt hours per liter. Um, the, the key thing that, uh, that we did was because all of those high energy technologies um, you know, lithium metal, silicon anode, they all have challenges with manufacturing. We focused on uh, and, and developed a cell based on an anode-free technology. So what that means is when you build the cell, um, you have nothing on the negative electrode, no carbon, no lithium, nothing. Um, you can, uh, and then you form that lithium metal after the cell's built um, in the first charge of the battery. What this means is, because we don't have any special negative electrode in the beginning, we can make it on totally conventional lithium ion equipment. That's actually what's allowed us to move so quickly. Be because we can use conventional lithium ion equipment, we were able to go from uh, January this year, we were at a two amp hour cell size with that anode free cell. And we went from two amp hours to 10 amp hours to 60 to 90 to 240 uh, in about six months. And that only worked because we could use the exact same production equipment. Um, and the same thing that allowed us to uh, scale up so quickly also makes the manufacturing a lot easier. We don't have to develop any uh, new processes, uh, you know, new uh, material sources. We're using all of the you know, conventional materials things or, or things that are just available as commodities elsewhere. Um, but to make this radically new type of cell. So what is your goal here? Because you are going to be able to come out with a few of these IXs, but uh, looking into the future, how can this scale? Yeah, so, uh, so our goal, so we're going to do the IX at the end of this year, show that we can get the range, um, you know, power, et cetera. Then um, we've got about a year of development left with that cell to get it to really meet all the specs we need um, to, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, safety, cycle life, swelling, all the all the other things, you know, shelf life, all those other things. We're close there, but it needs about a year's worth, uh, more worth of work. Uh, and at that point, it's ready to scale for production. At that point, what we'll be looking to do is um, win production programs with OEMs um, and uh, start scaling this into our own cell factory. Um, Which I hear you have one coming yes, somewhere uh, soon. We do. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, the goal is, uh, you know, if we can hit that timeline, we should be able to get the Gemini pack technology out into the market, um, mass, manu mass production date 2026. Amazing. Well, all right. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Kay. We really appreciate your time talking a little bit more about 
what's going on here at Our Next Energy, and we really look forward to coming to your facilities and doing a little bit of a tour and talking more about your guys' products. So thanks for taking the time. Thanks. Looking forward to having you at the site. Okay guys, this really caught my eye. We're here at the Lithion booth and I'm here with Will, who's gonna give us a little bit more insight because I walked by and I saw their home grid product and I wanna learn a little bit more about what you guys going on here. So give us a little bit of insight, Will. Yeah, so Lithion is a lithium ion battery company. Uh, we generally go with a modular approach, which allows us to take battery modules like this and we can put them in series and parallel to get to higher voltages, higher capacities, to get the system that customers need. Um, We've got these types of products that are in a lot of mobile, transportation, uh, buses, forklifts, those kinds of uh, applications. We also have our home grid products, which you can see up behind Chaz right there. Those are um, for uh, home energy storage, competing with things like the Tesla Powerwall uh, and those kinds of products, so and backup those, power. Those are modular too, right? Those, those are like modular, yeah. yeah. So you can see each of those white boxes there is a 48 volt, 100 amp hour uh, module, so it's 4.8 kilowatt hours. You can stack as many as eight of those on top of each other, so you can get to uh, somewhere around 30 kilowatt hours. Then you can also, if you need a bigger system than that, you can, you can put several stacks of eight next to each other, so you can get up to you know, several hundred kilowatt hours. Now we also have containerized energy storage systems. We're not advertising them quite as much here, but they are uh, utility grid focused um, commercial and industrial kind of usage applications for backup power. So tell us what your differentiator is. Why would people go with you guys? Well, so Lithion Battery has a long history. We've got several of our business units have been around since 1998 or sooner. We're one of the, um, so the Valence product line has uh, been a tried and trusted product that's been out there over a million modules operating out there. Uh, you know, over some of them have been in the field for over 10 years. Um, so we're really tried and, and tested and true. We're known for high quality. Uh, we have iron phosphate products, so within the lithium ion battery space, you've got different chemistries, and iron phosphate's known for safety. Iron phosphate's known for uh, cycle life. Um, and then modularity too, so we can take our products and build them into much larger systems with very little engineering costs, and you can kind of just, you know, very easily kind of build these larger systems without, you know, NRE or those kinds of things. And where are you guys based? We are headquartered in Henderson, Nevada, right outside Las Vegas. We just moved our manufacturing there, so that's another kind of reason for us, is we uh, moved manufacturing from, from China to Henderson, Nevada in the last year or so for our, our Valence products, and we're moving all of our manufacturing there as well. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, exciting. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us, Will. Yeah, sure, You've got yeah. some awesome products yeah, here, and we you. look nice forward to uh, exploring a little bit more. Okay, great. All right, mm -hmm. thanks so much. I'm here in the M Racing booth, and as you guys can see, there's a really cool car behind me. This is a little race car. It is electric. The team actually won second place overall for the EV class in Formula SAE, which is really, really cool. Michiganders, as you can see, they've got the branding all over it and a little Ford logo. I think it's so cool, but 
Check this out, number one team in the US, number five team in the world, second overall at MIS 2022, which is held in Brooklyn, Michigan at MIS, Michigan International Speedway. So pretty neat. I love seeing this kind of stuff, guys, where there are students creating new products and getting more involved in the e-mobility field at an early stage, but also in the racing business, which I don't think is talked about enough. So pretty neat to see. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I was really impressed with the show and it just proves that we're in a gold rush era of battery electric products and manufacturing and all of these other industries that are surrounding it. And there's no slowing down in my opinion. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.